Hi, it's Monique, your Clear Communication Coach, and today we're going to talk about feedback. So is it better to give than to receive? What do you think? You know, we hear this phrase a lot, and we think about when we're meeting someone new, when we're starting a new job, when we are connecting with someone new for the first time on a social platform. It's really important for you to give value before you start asking for something in return. It can't just be me, 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 Um, all about me, and we see a lot of that today. But when it comes to feedback, I'm going to say that if I had to choose between being able to give or receive, I'd say receiving feedback would be better. What do you think? Drop your comments down in the comment section below and continue this conversation. Now, here's the thing. We know so many things about why feedback is important. We know that it continues the conversation, it improves our line of communication, it enhances our productivity. We know so many of these things. We know about tools and strategies and resources that we can use. We know, for example, that timeliness of feedback is very important. Timeliness. You cannot wait two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks before you address an issue. True story, I had a gentleman tell me he was waiting for eight weeks for a response from an email. Wow. We also know that feedback needs to be specific. If you're going to praise someone, let them know specifically what you're praising them for. Oh, you're just so awesome. Awesome about what? What what is it that you did that was awesome? And if you're going to be giving something that's not great news, Make sure that you're specific as well. Hasty generalizations, name calling, it doesn't work. You're always late. You're never on time. Every time I bring up a new initiative, you shut it down. We know these things. We also know the importance of differentiating between constructive criticism and insults. But not because we know what we should do means that we actually do it or apply it. And why do you think that is? I think it's because feedback is hard. The real reason why we don't apply what we should apply is because sometimes it's hard. For example, I know I shouldn't be eating all these Snicker bars, but I keep eating them. I keep eating them. Guys, you're gonna have to deliver me from the Snicker bar attack. And especially for the leader when you are in a space where you're not physically, mentally, or emotionally charged, when you're tired, when you are fatigued, you don't want to hear about feedback. I know I don't. So the key to making sure that your conversations are productive, making sure that our feedback is continuous, believe it or not, the secret is not in the strategy. It's not in the tools. It's not even in the scripting. It's in making sure that you are emotionally, physically, mentally recharged and sound. So I wanna hear your feedback. I wanna hear your comments or see your comments. Write them down in the comments below. Is it better to give than receive? What do you have trouble doing, giving or receiving? If you had to just pick one thing as it relates to feedback, what would it be that you'd want to improve on? I look forward to continuing your conversation. And until next time, I'm Monique Russell, your Clear Communication Coach.